is everybody? This is you. This is you. Coming to you another YouTube video. Here we are, internationally, right now, worldwide. I think it is. We're attacking the muscle and the crypto muscle network. Coming to you another YouTube video. Ah, uh, yes, another day. You know, we continue to play, right? Various platform opportunities we continue to play with, right? And um, today we're talking about here Quantigo, right? Earlier today, talked about Arbitrade.Finance. That's a good one. Quantigo is a nice, steady one. Quantigo is built for the long term, right? If you look at the plans that they have, you can tell that Quantigo is set up and built for the long term. And that's a good thing. I think it's a good thing to have, you know, because we need platforms like this in the space where, you know, they could go and run for long term and pay at the same time. Obviously, it has to pay. But, um, yeah, we need something like that because too many platforms have been going recently. Like, like recently. Uh, if you say probably in the last 30 days, man, so many of them have come and gone that, you know, it's a breath of fresh air to have the ones that kind of stick around and ride through the storm and uh, not playing shenanigans. Uh, something that is sustainable and, and healthy for the platform to be running. And at the same time, as it's doing that, it's something healthy and to have in our portfolio, knowing that we could confidently have something running and paying, you know, for the long term. So let's take a look at the plans that they have for with Quantigo, and you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, so you could tell this is definitely built for the long term. Look at it 1.17, 1.2, 1.3. All right, this is definitely built for long-term sustainability. So that's why um, when you look at it, it's something that you could have running in the background while you're messing around with other platforms and come back to this and it's still here. We make it and take it and get paid every day. Uh, 10% weekly, you have a 15.5 weekly, you have a 22 percent weekly platforms there I'm sorry plans there not platforms there there's only one platform Quantigo but for the plan there so when you break that down the 22 percent is around three percent a day um, broken up into eight weeks there and so to be honest I don't care for the you know, X1, X2, and X3 plans, you know, for the weaker ones. Uh, I prefer daily plans. And I think when you go into these plans, you know, to be at most 30 days, I mean, is there a difference between 12 days to 30 days? Yeah, 0.2%, right? Is that you know, flipping boulders and, and, you know, creating ramifications in the space. No, but if you want to be in for 12 days, okay. If you want to earn a little bit more and go to 1.2, 1.3, it's all in a place where we could put in deposit in any one of these and still be okay. Right, because if you have at least 500 and up, there's a flexibility of, okay, do I want to run it for 12 days? Do I want to run it for 22 days? Or do I want to run it for 30 days? With at least a $500 minimum in any one of these. So when you do that, you can now pick your terms. Do I want to go 12 days or do I want to go 30? And meet your terms with at least the returns on your $500 deposit in, all, in any one of the three. If you have less than 500, well, obviously it's only going to work between uh, S1 and S2 plan there. 
1.1 or 1.2 percent. But again, the difference between the percentage points is not that big. So you're not really losing out. It's just a matter of commitment now. You know, how you want to commit? Okay, you earn a little bit more for committing up to 30 days. But if you lessen the commitment to 12 days, 1.1 is not a big drop off for 1.3. I mean, that's, that's just right there, you know. So when you look at it like that, Quantigo is definitely built for the long term. And I think when they went on their, I guess you want to call it a hiatus or maintenance or however you want to call it, to fix themselves, they wanted to create something with the plans that will go long and strong, right? And being able to uh, sustain in the long term. So that was the improvement they made from the time I was in it earlier in the year. And then when they decided, okay, we need to work on this and went in this maintenance mode, which they did for the time being. And then at the same time, they were kind of running for a little while um, just to uh, kind of showcase that they haven't, they weren't actually gone at all this whole time. They were just around, but they weren't um, trying to put themselves out there to uh, showcase anything until they felt confident and ready. So they were kind of running behind the scenes, running a quiet operation for a while, and slowly let it be known okay we think we got this fixed now to where it would be good for everybody good for us good for them uh you know we're, we're in a good place with it so that's what um brought me back into quantigo and i say you know what i like that they're doing that now and uh, i think it'd be good enough for me to go back in and do it again you know and so I went in with caution, right? Instead of my $1,000 that I did last time around, this time I went in a little bit smaller, $500 this time around. Because, you know, I'd rather be safe and sorry as well. But at the same time, I wanted to kind of show that, hey, you know what? Uh, I'm still here to see if Quantigo is going to live up to the billing of what they say they are and what they say they're going to be. So I said, all right, cool. Let's try this out once again. And bam, here I've been in Quantigo since. All right. So it's been uh, nearly two weeks. So, so far so good. And like I said, it doesn't, it's not going to light the world on fire, but it's all good though. At least it's proving itself. And that's the big thing. So 20 bucks. Okay, cool. Which draws are coming out? Uh, let's see, 2741. Yeah, 99 cents in Ethereum ERC there. Uh, let's do a withdraw here, 2741. Whoops. There we go. Oh, I gotta round it. So I gotta round, you gotta round down. <laughs> And it's processed within 48 hours. So, yeah, last time I did a withdraw, it was processed and completed within 48 hours. So that's cool. Um, so that's that there. This withdrawal, $19, did come through. So, this time it's 27. I don't know why I put 27, could have put 28. But it's all good. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I punched in 27. Um, but yeah, so that's where it's at. We're going to see how long this thing can go this time. We're going to see if it's actually um, standing up to what they say they're doing this time around. So... 
you know, being in Quantico is better than being in uh, all these ones that are bygones now in this space. All right, slim pickings right now. You know, when we look at how many platforms we're in, let's count it here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, let's see, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13. All right, usually 13 is not a lot. If you sound like, wow, that's a lot, Crypto Muscle, no. <laughs> 13 is really not a lot at all. Um, that's barely two per day to cover on, right? Shit, at my, <laughs> in my heyday max, man, we'll be in, you know, we're shit, close to 30. 25 to 30 when, when guns are blazing and we're we're up to the max on platforms shit we could be upwards of 20 to 30 maybe even close to 35 platforms at once right yeah anywhere above 25 and up man we're, we're just blazing with platforms that are paying right now it's a lot of platforms have just completely died off, and I think it has to do with volatility in the market um, having to do with that. I want to see what the market is looking like right now since um, we're talking about it. Take a look at the coin market cap. Yeah, we're at $61,000 Bitcoin right now, 535. So slight recovery from where it was, say like yesterday. <laughs> yesterday, man, Bitcoin, when I was doing a video yesterday, shit. Bit, Bitcoin was touching 59,000. But uh, despite that, Bitcoin's on its low, uh, lower than it's been recently. Because usually it's been hovering around 65 to 71, you know. Um, but in the last couple of days now, it's been below that for sure. Below 65, hanging around 59, 61 right now. And when you look at that, it's like, um, yeah, so much volatility with, especially with the ETS and, you know, inflows, outflows, um, things are going on, right? Mount Gox is going to start paying back July. And uh, I think that has something to do with why the market's down. I think people are going to sell their Bitcoin um, from Mount Gox. Because th this type of clientele that's lo you know lost their Bitcoin, it's now being given back to them. And they want to cash out while the getting's good, all right? Just like any other platform. You're given an opportunity to come back. Cause they fixed the problem oh yeah <laughs> no bubbles no troubles we're gonna get this thing fixed <laughs> we're gonna nip it in the bud we're gonna go all right come back with me now we're gonna go boom that's exactly what they did all right and so um yeah i think with the market the way it's playing right now it's, it's killing off a lot of platforms more than i've ever seen but quantigo has come back to play right they rebranded they came back to play, and they're showing that they could stand, withstand market conditions. So yeah, so check it out. The link is in the description for everything we got going on. So, you know, let's do your research. You know, see if it's something you like. I do like Quantigo kind of running in the background while I'm in all these other opportunities. Um, but yeah, so subscribe to everything I got. Like I said, uh, also got my Telegram group. Got my link tree for mashed up music. If you're into that kind of thing, I got all kinds of different genres. And I do enjoy mashing up music. That's why I do what I do. So on that, uh, thank you. And uh, comment down below. And I'll see you in the next one.